and welcome back to the stained canvas today we are going to be playing around with our gel plate and I'm going to be making impressions with something I like to call found textures now if you look around your house you can find some cardboard the, the center of a cardboard bubble wrap I have some bark some you know textures of seashells the bumps on the uh, seashells are really excellent for this I even have some dried lemon and dried uh, orange that I had done for something I'm not potpourri or something like that I'm not entirely sure and then I also have some springs and some coils from a old notebook now what I'm going to do is apply some acrylic paint directly to my gel plate um, I'm not worried like I just want a nice thin layer um, so I'm gonna apply it take my brayer and make sure that I get a nice even coat all over the place um, and then also I'm going to uh, remove so I find that sometimes you put a little too much paint on and then you might have to take your brayer and use your brayer on another piece of paper just to get some of that paint off now you're going to go in and you're going to grab one of your textures I grab a seashell and you're just going to press it into the gel plate now you have to be very cautious if you find a texture that's prickly you want to be super duper careful not to pierce your gel plate because you can damage it um, and that you know they're expensive so that would be like such a, a waste and, and it would be like so sad because any kind of pierced marks or any kind of um, you know cracks you have in your gel plate will show up in any kind of print you try and make so you want to be very cautious don't poke holes in your plate um, if it's something prickly like a fork, be very careful with the tines of the fork. Um, if it's something, you know, like a paper clip, make sure the tip of the, the pointy part of the paper clip is not kind of up a little bit that it won't pierce your gel plate for you. So now that uh, you see here, I have my design on it and it kind of dried up a little bit so all I'm doing is I'm taking some pouring medium if you don't have pouring medium you can use uh, matte medium gloss whatever just to moisten that up again and then you're going to apply your piece of paper and just rub 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 make sure that all that pouring medium or matte medium is sucked up into that piece of paper and then you're just going to pull it off and hopefully the whole picture will come up with it but it turns out so fantastic um, I really like how this one turned out and I'm actually going to make another one um, with the oranges because I thought the orange one will look really great um, kind of festive holiday summertime type of deal it looks like lemons on this page here and it was the same process just press them in Add a little bit of texture or like some medium of some kind and then pull it up off of the off of the gel plate so I hope you try this it's a really fun cheap easy way to make some lots of fun papers and things like that and uh, thank you for watching like subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on the stain canvas so bye for now